Stan Aker here, Operations Manager of the Ontario Regiment Museum. Um, just continuing our little discussion on the variants of uh, M113s. This particular variant is the uh, toe under armor variant that was used by the Canadian Forces and a number of other uh, NATO countries. Uh, it has a uh, Norwegian designed turret that would be able to fire two missiles, one after another. Uh, the tow missile was an anti-tank missile. And it, it, uh, it was in the anti-tank troop or platoon of an uh, infantry battalion. Um, these tow missiles can reach out and touch uh, the enemy vehicle at about 3.7 kilometers. Um, they were very accurate because they were wire guided and computer controlled. So basically you would just put your um, crosshairs on the target, keep the crosshairs on the target. The computer figures out how to get the missile there. Uh, and kill the target. Um, these were very useful to the Canadians. Um, after the Cold War, they were deployed into uh, ex-Yugoslavia and they were used basically as a show of force um, uh, vehicle. Uh, they were also used because their night and vision equipment was very good. So they were able to place them on top of a hill and survey or surveil an entire area so they knew what was happening day and night. Um, and they would do the occasional firepower demonstration uh, for the locals, basically say, hey, we're going to be firing off a missile. Look at that uh, wrecked vehicle three kilometers away. Watch it carefully. Wow, watch how it blows up. Just remember that. Everyone behave. Okay, so we're at the back of the tow M113. Uh, the, uh, there's a number of vehicle uh, missiles that could be loaded on the side, saved on the inside of the vehicle. There's a big rack there. What's uh, also interesting is because um, these vehicles have such long range, if you were new that you were being fired upon from missiles, it's very important that you could use artillery or indirect fire to neutralize the area. Let's say they're behind a hill or something, or, you, or in a forest, you can neutralize it with artillery, which makes it difficult to reload. This vehicle actually has a special roof that curves up. So what the gunner would do is he would elevate the launchers, the loader would lift up the roof, and he would be able to replace the tubes, connect the missiles, and it would go back in action with a lot more uh, protection from artillery fragments because they have a roof with sides that allows them to uh, a great degree of protection when reloading. 